Right, you lovely tubers. I thought I've, I've seen uh, Ice ID doing a, a video on uh, cleaning the chain. I'll show you the state of mine, and mine is mucky to say the least. So let's just take it down to one that I've. Here's one I cleaned earlier. Let's just take them. So there we go. So that's one that I cleaned earlier. In fact, and then let's go back to the way it really looks. This is a real biker's chain for people that want to know. So this is how I clean my chain. Okay. Don't take it as a gospel, but do it the way you like doing it. And if you want to spend fortunes like all them southern people can afford, off you go. But me being like a, well, a more mid-country, aren't I? I'm not really Yorkshire, so I'm not really tight. I'm more frugal than, than anything. So I have got, in my secret container here, I have got a mixture of diesel and petrol. Now, you're going to get screaming at me saying, it'll do the O-rings in, it'll do this in, it'll do that in. Well, I've done it for God knows how long this way, the way my dad taught me. <laughs> and my bottle's just packed in, that's good, isn't it? That's good. Why is that? That always happens when you're filming, doesn't it? So the spray bottle stopped working. So we'll go back to the old method then without a spray bottle. A little container. And there we go, let's just put it there. So put that there so that I can things are in my way. And we'll just let's give it a bit of a not forgetting to put a little rag underneath so that you don't get uh, crap all over your floors. I'm just putting a bit on the outside first. Now if you see, let's just show you how good this is. There we go. I mean, don't forget as well, the grease on the chain does keep it good nick now i'm not going to do it tonight but i will do it one thing that people never do they don't take off the front cover and they don't clear out the crap inside the front cog so you need to do that as well Yeah, when I, was, when I was out with Tom, I thought, look at his chain, and his chain was spotless. And then I seen Ice ID, it's a good little channel, Ice ID. He's got a Transalp, he had a... He's had, like myself, a few bikes. And he's just bought the new Transalp. And I did like the Transalp, I know that, to be honest. So, now don't forget if it gets on your tyre, don't go down with your knee down and all that lot. So, so this will just sink into that and it'll eventually, it's time and patience, you can see now, you can see, you can see the crap coming out a bit. Now, what I'm going to do this is my tool it cost me i think it was 1.99 or 2.99 just dip it in it the lunge and spin it round just put a bit more uh, put a bit more of this secret additive to actually clean my chain if i sold this i'd make billions Right, then an old rack that you don't really care about. I've 
got I've got quite a bit of movement in that don't like that at all after I've all got that and this is all it is it's it's a bit of love and affection on your gear I'll just give it another quick going now normally what I would do I would actually uh, put it in gear I'd just put it in drive and let it tick over so the wheels spun round to do this but as I'm in the shed with this on, I'm not going to bother. And I'll just move that there, because... And while you're doing this, you can actually look at the state of your sprocket. You can see that sprocket's really in good nick. So... Give that a good clean there. as well while it goes round and Tom said to me I was talking to him and he does his about every four or five hundred miles I don't I do mine about every thousand to fifteen hundred miles to be quite honest with you i keep i keep a check on my chain i make sure my chain is is uh well oiled so when i go out i check the uh check it's not loose we've got back now i'll measure that it's probably not far off you tend you check your chain on two sides if you look on your uh swing arm on new ones it will tell you so that's 30 mil. So I need to get a, a ruler and measure that if you're going to do it. You tend to know, to be honest, <coughs> you tend to know. I mean, I'm not OCD and to do things absolutely perfect. The thing is, if it's too tight, it's going to do damage. If it's too loose, it's going to do damage. And you can generally, normally about half an inch to an inch max is enough. Maybe that's just a wee, that may actually just be a wee bit too loose. I need to just nip that up a little bit but my concern now is if you listen to that I don't want that I have to have a look at that I don't want that at all and also Petrol and diesel, believe it or not, are really good cleaning tools. So if you want to clean your wheels or you clean anything, it's really good. I mean, you polish them afterwards, clean them off afterwards, but they are really, really, they will really move crap. And they won't do any damage because they've both got additives that lubricate. Especially diesel, it just doesn't smell good. And, uh, like WD-40. WD-40 is a, a marvellous invention. Have we'll I put that on? Here we go. I mean, you can end up just totally anal, to be honest with this. And I'm not that way inclined. You know, some people that you watch are absolutely spend every second polishing the bike uh, i think i'd rather spend more time riding it than polishing it but it's like anything look after them you know give them a good clean once a week or like i do i ride mine every day so i check it every day before believe it or not before i go out and i do before i go out in the morning 
I have a walk around and I check things on it just to make sure uh, there's no real issues with it because two wheels it's your life it's it's not that you can get away with it in a car you go out with uh, knackered tires and knackered wheels on a motorbike you're just you're heading through woods around very quickly so you know spend a bit of time show a bit of loving to it and it'll show a bit of loving back to you right so that's the cleaning bit done let's just let's just finish off and just make sure oh missed a bit I mean, it's a sad thing to say. We're cleaning up all this oil from around the, these bolts and all these bits. That stuff stops it rust, rusting. And I'm really surprised how well that still, still looks after four and a half thousand miles. It shows Honda actually uh, spending money on decent stuff. Right, let's, let's do the most important thing. Oh. Now, I am not sponsored by this company at all, and I am not bothered what chain lube I put on there. So I bought this from Hunts, and it's twelve eighty nine. It's yam lube, so it's yam lube for Yamahas. Will it work on Honda? Comments below and tell me. Now I'm sorry, you're gonna have to put with a bit of noise because. I'm doing it the easy way. That's how easy it is to look after your chain and your bike. So that took us what 10 minutes? More time fidgeting about trying to get a spray bottle working. So only one thing you need to make sure of that you haven't got any oil or any grease or chain loop on your tire. And just move that out of the way so let me know how Yamaha chain lube works on Hondas hope you like it I hope uh, I say I do I hope you like it give me a comment tell me is it better than yours Cleaner inside of that, which has got an alcohol in it. And there we go, people. off camera now I'm gonna have to wear uh, and have to look at I'm not happy with that knocking shouldn't really make that I would expect it to be smoother than that so we'll have a look at that so tell me what you think is it a good job would you carry out chain cleaning this way or do you not trust it now you see, I need to clean around the back of there as well. There we go. But there we go. Chain lube. 
Honda on Honda NC750 DCTX with Yamaha chain loop. See you later.